Hello, Sarah. Good Hello. afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome <laughs> to TV Grand Théâtre de Genève. Wow, okay. <laughs> so how do you feel in this setting in, 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 on the machine? Oh my gosh. Um, it reminds me sometimes when I played sports, when I played baseball, I, I used to travel around, actually, the travel around the United States uh, playing baseball and we would, you know, you, you, re you rehearse, you practice. We have, we have practicing uh, for, you know, four hours a day and you train and you run and, and uh, you sprint, you do long distance running and you also do the, the slide, you know, if you slide into the plate. Mm -hmm only maybe something for Americans to understand <laughs> but sometimes I, I have the same the same aches in my legs that I had when I when I played baseball <laughs> for a lot wow. of years they're coming back <laughs> wow yeah it's, it's really a hard very physical, physical. Have, yes, very, very physical work yes very physical work yes right <laughs> yes that is opera <laughs> okay Tanya <laughs> now you're in the hot seat <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Okay. <laughs> Always where I wanted you. <laughs> what is the relationship between your character and mine? Well, you're my daughter. But I think as a mother, I mean, I know you're the easy daughter, you know. You're mm -hmm. the one that's working well. You're not objecting too much. And, and I know your love is there. I don't know how big it is because it's not so described in, in the opera, mm -hmm. but there won't be any problems. But the main thing is that I have a lot of problems with Electra and I know also my problems and yes. they will only solve by her. Yes, yes. So I'm a bit focusing on mm -hmm. her, which is mean because I think in the opera we, we rarely have too much interaction. No, we, no, we don't have yeah, that scene together. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm. Yes, you have bigger fish to fry, as we say. <laughs> uh, what was the main challenge of working on this set? Well, it's definitely the walking. I mean, walk all the time and then keep my breath still steady yeah. and keep the support steady and keep it like I cannot put my, my posture like a ballet dancer and just do... Yeah. And here I am and, and walk through like a like sporty uh, right, in, right. in sports. But I have yeah. to keep it all flexible and that's mm -hmm. a real challenge. Do you think there's a villain in this story or are the characters just victims of circumstance or the, how do you see that? Is there any particular evil or it's more the circumstances that makes them? Or uh, I always believed uh, that you're a victim, you can see it as a, a, vic a victim of your own circumstance, uh, whatever that means to each person. And I, I think it's for every person in every seat in the theater to, to make that decision, actually. I don't want to make it for them, mm -hmm. um, but I, I want to show them the circumstance right. and, and let, let them decide. Right. Yeah, I like that, too, yes. to let that open, Absolutely. kind of, right? Absolutely. So everybody can identify yes. wherever yes. they like. And I think as an actress, if you, if you just play a victim, I, I don't think that's interesting. I think it's interesting to play sort of on the line of it. Yes. And yes. Yeah, I think so, too, with my villain character, I have to play. It's like make her as normal as possible and then see that mm -hmm. people identify and, and, and realize Absolutely. how they can get to that, yes. that it yes. could happen to them. Absolutely. Right. Uh, could you explain the story in a few words to someone who doesn't know this opera at all? Okay. So the mother killed her husband. You have to know before he killed one of the daughters just mm -hmm. to win a war. Yes. Um, my daughter Electra is not very happy with that because we can say she was a daddy's child. Mm -hmm. And I'm not happy neither because I have nightmares of this. And so, um, and I also gave one son away. And um, yeah, they are planning. I, I, I plan to get rid of my nightmares and they are planning to kill me, mm -hmm. <laughs> which they do in the end. Uh, what would you say to an audience member who doesn't know this opera to encourage them to come? Please come. The music is overwhelming. It's like a bath of emotion and you will just dive into it and you will not even feel that you're one and a half hour or one and yeah. 40 minutes there. You won't. Yeah. It will end and you will say, what? It ends already. Yeah. If you could describe Strauss music in just three words, what, oh, what could gosh. it be? This question reminds me of uh, Capri Capriccio, mm -hmm. in which uh, Strauss's opera, in which this this central question of what what is more important, the music or the the words. Yeah. And what's so interesting to me about Capriccio is it ends in you know we have this big monologue, 
and a lot of text and music and soaring music and and at the end though he ends in just a simple four five one in D major and after all of that and you go really that's how you're going to end it Mr. Strauss you know <laughs> <laughs> and I, I think it's another one of those things that that um, I could never put three words on on this uh, this uh, real Gesamtkunstwerk mm -hmm. I, I just can't, I cannot do that and that's my answer <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> uh, does your character resemble you? <laughs> We're getting personal here. I hope not. <laughs> but I try to understand her. I, yeah. I really try to understand. And I understand her in the mother's heart mm -hmm. that her child was killed to win a war. And I think every mother out there will understand that this makes a feeling of this man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. is no more in my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you always try to find a piece of yourself. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. In, in all the characters that, yes. that you're playing. What would be your favorite part of this opera? Do you have any or...? Honestly, uh, I love the final duet. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the, the music that uh, Elektra sings, uh, when Elektra sings Tanz und Schweig und Tanz und, and you hear all this orchestral music at the end and I honestly... Uh, a personal thing, I, I have it on my workout uh, music uh, wow. tracks. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I, I'm always running or walking and listening to this wherever I go in the world. <laughs> yeah, I love this end too. It's, it's so emotional. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why do you think Greek mythology is still so fascinating today? I think it's totally modern. The conflicts are, are archetypes, oh, this, they're archaic. They're the same. Yeah. They're the same they now. The stories now. might be different. Mm -hmm. But the conflicts in us are the same. And yes. sometimes we know we walk into a disaster and we don't know how to prevent and, and how mm -hmm. to get out of it. Mm -hmm. We know we're walking there like in Greek mythology yeah, and yeah. it's there. Yeah, and everything it happens. feels very cyclical, yeah. and, mm -hmm. and which is very fitting uh, for our set, I, right. set design, I think, right. actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, if you had, had uh, to describe Strauss's music in three words, what would they be? <laughs> A warm stream of hot chocolate. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> Actually, that's a good one. <laughs>